Become. So, sana nagustuhan niyo po siya. Maganda yung message niya, no? For those who are listening, um, this is ABO, basics of ABO blood typing that I intended to teach para sa mga non-medtech po na, pa, na uh, friends ko na magte-take ng physician licensure exam. Okay? Para po mas easy, tandaan po natin ang basic principle ng blood banking. Wherein, when we say cells, so, nag-drawing ako dito ng red blood cell. When we say cells, we refer to the antigen. So, meaning to say, antigen ang nakikita natin sa cells. When we say serum or plasma, pero more often than not, serum ang ginagamit natin sample for blood banking or blood typing. When we say serum, what we see there are antibodies. Okay? So, this is one of the basic principles ng blood banking. Antigens are found on cells while antibodies are found on the serum. And again, serum is the liquid portion of a clotted blood. Pag kinuha na natin ang dugo ang pasyente at inalaw natin siyang mabuo or mag-clot at uh, sinentrifuge natin siya, ang nahihiwalay na liquid part na yun ay tinatawag natin serum. Okay? So again, antigen is found on cells, antibodies found on serum. There are two types of blood typing. Meron tayong tinatawag na um, direct or forward typing and meron tayong tinatawag na indirect or reverse typing or reverse grouping. Okay? Ang um, unahin muna nating alamin ay yung ginagawa sa direct or forward typing. When we say direct, ibig sabihin um, direct reaction or direct agglutination reaction between our antigens and our antibody. Okay? Um, I suggest that you do your own table Pag halimbawa natapos mo na itong panoorin, I suggest that you do your own table, enumerate the blood groups under the ABO. So, syempre ito ang most important blood group natin, especially for transfusion and um, transplantation um, practices. So, under the ABO blood group, we have the blood type A, the blood type B, the blood type AB, and the blood type O. Okay? Um, para mas, hindi tayo malito, no? pwede natin muna ilista kung ano yung antigens na makikita natin sa blood type na mga to. Okay? Sa direct or forward grouping kasi, ang nagiging sample natin or specimen natin from the patient is their whole blood or their red cells. Okay? We can prick them or we can collect via venipuncture using the EDTA uh, anticoagulant and then put it on slide and since red blood cells ang meron tayo antigen ang meron tayong nakuha or specimen natin na nakuha natin sa pasyente. So, when we say blood type A, ang antigen na nandoon sa red cells would be the A antigen. When we say blood type B, edi ang meron siya B antigen. When we say blood type AB, edi ang meron siya blood, uh, A antigen and the B antigen, both. Okay? Because this um, blood group, this blood type, um, co-dominant sila. Walang mas dominante. Okay? And when we say blood type O, meaning to say you don't have A, you don't have B. So, basically, you have none. Okay? Pero the med techs know that still you have the H antigen, but for for um, blood typing purposes, we will not show that here. Okay? So, basically, when you are blood type O, you don't have A and B antigens. Okay? When we use or when we uh, do the direct or forward grouping, ang reagents natin na ginagamit are anti-sera. When we say anti-sera, this is... Um, these are reagents that contain antibodies. So, when we say anti-A, ang laman nito is antibody against the A antigen. Anti-B, antibody against the B antigen. And anti-AB, antibody against the A and B antigen. So, basically, when we say anti-serum, ang laman ng reagent natin ay antibodies. Okay? So, ang sample natin na nakuha from the patient ay red cells or whole blood which contains the antigen. Uh, nilista natin kung ano yung mga yun. And then, we use this three anti-serum. Okay? Or anti-sera. Tapos, ang tanong mo sa sarili mo, anti-A, meron ka antibody against A antigen. At nilagay mo daw sa antigen na A, magkakaroon ba ng reaction? Definitely. Kasi nga, ang nakalagay dito, anti-A. So, positive tayo. Or, magkakaroon tayo ng agglutination reaction when we add anti-A against an A antigen. How about anti-B? Since anti-B, B ang kinokontra niya, ilagay natin siya sa blood type na A, there will be no agglutination. When we add anti-A, B, 
Since it contains anti-A, it will also react with the A antigen. Therefore, magpa-positive ka sa anti-AB. Okay? How about the B person? The B person contains the B antigen. Pag nilagyan natin ng anti-A, ang taong may B antigen, magkakaroon ba ng reaction? Hindi sila pareho, no? Kasi ang kinukontra mo, anti-A tapos B ka. So, therefore, you will be negative in anti-A. Anti-B to a B person, syempre, kontrahan sila. Okay? They are... Uh, against each other or whatever, basta mag-arms and agglutination because you have the antibody for the B antigen. And then you, when you add anti-AB to the B antigen, since it still contains the B antigen, uh, the B antibody, then you will have a positive result here. Okay? How about to a person na AB? So, pareho daw siyang may A, pareho siyang may B. Lagyan natin na anti-A sa taong may A, positive pa rin. Anti-B sa taong may B antigen, positive pa rin. Anti-AB, definitely positive. Okay? Positive means agglutination. Agglutination means um, physically you see clumping of the red cells and anti-sera. Okay? And then, the last gr group is blood type O, which sabi natin walang laman, walang A, walang B. So, pag naglagay tayo ng anti-A sa so wala namang laman, wala rin mangyayari. So, you will be negative there. Anti-B will also be negative kasi nga walang laman and wala ka rin uh, reaction in the anti-AB. So basically, we call it direct because kung saan ka nag-positive, that will be your blood type. Okay? Um, dito, uh, tandaan mo, dalawa kasi yung antibodies mo so you will also be positive kung blood type A ka, blood type B, and of course AB. Okay? If walang reaction, walang agglutination, very homogeneous ang sample and serum uh, and the anti-serum, then you have the blood type O. Okay? So, in summary, again, when we do direct or forward grouping, ang reagent na ginagamit natin ay anti-sera. Ibig sabihin, ang laman nun, antibodies na mismo. Alam mo na may anti-A, anti-B, anti-AB. And then, you get the blood from the patient, maybe whole blood or capillary blood. Basta ang laman ng sample mo in the direct blood typing would be the whole blood or cells, and in cells you see antigens. So, A, A, B, B, A, B, A, B, and O, no A and B antigens. For us, in the reverse typing or in the indirect or uh, reverse grouping, ang sample na kinukuha natin sa pasyente, yung serum nila. Okay? So, sabi natin sa mga ngayon lang nanonood, ang basic principle na tatandaan natin is that when we say cells, Antigen ang nakikita natin. When we say serum, antibody ang nakikita natin. So, kapag serum ang sample natin sa pasyente, edi eh antibodies ang nakukuha natin sa kanya. So, for example, tipiin lang natin para mas convenient. Okay? For a blood type A, okay, for a blood type A na may A antigen, the antibody that you will see in blood type A is anti-B. This is what you call the universal reciprocity. The universal reciprocity means that when you have the antigen, you will develop an antibody against the opposite antigen. Okay? You will not develop an antibody against your own antigen. So, kung may A antigen ka, ang i-develop mo is anti-B. Kung may B antigen ka, ang i-develop mong antibody is anti-A. Because... Diba, it makes sense. Kung B ka, B antigen ang meron ka sa red cells mo, tapos gagawa ka rin anti-B, eh di kinontra mo yung sarili mo, pinatay mo lang yung sarili mo. So, in ABO blood group, you have the so-called universal reciprocity. You don't make an antibody against the antigen that you have. So, you always make an antibody against an antigen that you do not have. So, again, if you are blood type A, you have the A antigen, so you develop anti-B. If you have B blood group, you have the B antigen on your red cells, so you develop anti a. What about blood type AB? Ang blood type AB natin may A and B. So, you don't develop any antibody. Sorry, this should be none. Kasi pag gumawa ka ng anti-A at anti-B, kukontrahin mo lang yung sarili mo and mamatay ka. Okay? And then, blood type O, since wala tayong A and B antigen, we develop both antibody. So, you have anti-A and anti-B sa serum ng pasyente natin na blood type O. 
Okay? So, kailangan mo ma-master yun para hindi ka malito pag blood transfusion na yung pinag-uusapan natin or compatibility testing. The one that um, has cross-matching. Okay? So, ulitin natin. Kapag indirect or reverse grouping, your sample, your specimen from the patient is the serum. And in the serum, we find the antibodies. For a person na blood type A, anti-B ang meron siya. For a person na blood type B, anti-A ang meron siya. For a person na blood type AB, wala siyang kahit anong antibody. For a person na type O, you have anti-A and anti-B in, in your serum. Okay? In the direct blood grouping, ang, ang reagent mo, di ba, anti-sera. Ngayon, sa indirect or reverse grouping, ang reagent mo, cells mismo. And when we say cells, ang meron tayo, antigen. Kaya kapag nakita mong A cells, ang meron ka rito, A antigen. Kung B cells, edi ang meron ka dyan, B antigen. Kung O cells, edi wala kasi wala namang antigen ang O cells. Okay, walang A and B. So, when you are asked or you are required to interpret the indirect or reverse grouping, ganito mo siya iisipin. Kapag daw ba naglagay ka ng A cells sa taong blood type A na merong anti-B sa serum niya, magkakaroon ba ng reaction? Is A, um, anto, partner ba niya ang anti-B? Siyempre hindi kasi A to tapos B to. So, you will have no reaction here. Okay? How about if you put B cells on a serum that contains an anti-B? Okay? So, kapag meron kang B cells at meron kang anti-B, siyempre magkakaroon sila ng reactions Okay, reaction. Sobrang dami naman ng reactions. <laughs> so, B uh, cells, anti-B, you will have agglutination here. O cells, which contains nothing uh, against anti-B, syempre wala ka ring reaction dyan. Okay, kumbaga parang pang lang to eh. Hindi, I mean, pang check naman siya ng reaction. Pero, basically, will have no reaction here kasi nga wala siyang laman. Okay, how about... Here, blood type, P, blood type B people contains anti-A, right? So, kapag anti-A, nilagay daw natin ang A cells. Anti-A, syempre partner sila, no? A against A, so you will have agglutination here. Positive tayo dyan. How about B cells? B antigen against anti-A, so syempre hindi sila fit. So, negative din tayo dyan. And then here, negative ulit tayo kasi wala nga laman ang O cells, Okay. How about the next blood group? AB, blood type AB contains no antibodies. Okay, so kung wala kang antibodies, maglagay ka man ng A antigen, wala ka rin reaction. Maglagay ka man ng B antigen, wala ka rin dyan reaction. And even on O cells, you don't have any reaction because you don't have antibodies and you don't have antibodies. <laughs> and lastly, blood type O, wala siyang antigen. So, nagde-develop ang mga taong blood type O ng anti-A at anti-B. Okay? So, maglagay ka ng A cells na may A antigen sa serum na may anti-A, well, magkakaroon ka ng um, reaction. Okay? And then, B cells, sa taong may anti-B, meron ka rin reaction kasi magpa-positive ka dyan. And then, O cells, which contains um, no cells or no antigens, wala pa rin tayong reaction dito. Okay? So, basically, in the indirect or reverse grouping, kung saan ka negative, yun ang ating blood type. Okay? Kung saan ka nag-negative, yun ang ating interpretation. Okay? So, kapag direct blood typing, kung saan ka nag-positive, yun ang magiging blood type ng pasyente. Pero kapag indirect or reverse grouping, baliktad na ngayon. Kasi nga, indirect or reverse, eh, kung saan ka nag-negative, yun yung magiging blood type ng pasyente. Okay? So, that's it for now. Kasi you have to master this. You have to know um, what is in blood type A, and blood type B, and blood type AB, and blood type O, and what are their reactions when you do direct and forward, uh, direct or forward, and indirect or reverse, before mo ma-master or sisiwin yung mga questions about cross-matching and kung pwede ka bang mag-transfuse um, ng ganitong blood type to another blood group. Okay? So, sabi ko basic lang kasi. So, uh, yun na lang muna for tonight and I guess I am, I'll just wish you good luck and God bless to everyone. Stay safe and yeah, goodbye.